beauties welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome in today's video we are going to be doing a review of the new Chanel lip lacquers so if you would like to see what kind of colors I picked up keep on watching beauties so Chanel released some new lip lacquers and I managed to get my hands on some but before we do go into the box we're going to be doing a little bit of reading up just so you guys are fully aware of what we can expect the first liquid lipstick by Chanel uniting shine and ultra wear in a satiny finish life proof a water resistant it delivers satiny shine color and hydration for 12 hours its unique ultra comfortable texture provides the lips with a sensation of softness and suppleness for 10 hours so they did actually come out with 20 liquid lipsticks they retail for 31 pounds i did purchase mine on the chanel website i think i ordered mine about Saturday and they came today which is Tuesday so within two to three days super nice and quick so yeah this is how it came so this is how it comes once you do get it this time I got a sample I got a sample of the Chanel Coco Mademoiselle most of the time these Chanel samplers I don't know what it is but they just literally go so quick so it came in that duffel bag. So I managed to get my hands on two. That's how it comes. So you can look on top and then see the name of the color that you got. And the shelf life for this is 18 months. And it is made in France. So you have the name on there and everything as well. So once you unbox it gives that nice ombre effect that is how the dough for applicator looks it is slanted so i'm just going to give you guys a swatch and this is in the shade still 62 that is how the first shade looks next one i've got this is in the shade adjacents <laughs> so yes yeah, the same packaging you can look on top and then see the color it's the four so i did actually try to pick up two different colors so they don't look the same that is how the applicator looks as well yeah so there's definitely a difference that is for sure you can see that this is deeper than this one this color is really pretty though okay so what i'm going to do first is i'm going to put them on on their own and then i'm going to put a lip liner on if i need it i probably will need it because the colors maybe just a little bit too bright gloss i'm going to put on still first Okay, so my thoughts on this one. This is definitely too pale for me to wear on its own. The pigment isn't thick from what I can see. I can still see my lip color coming through. But yeah, it has dried down really quickly. I'm not gonna lie. There is no smell, so that is a good thing. So yeah, that is the first one. So I'm gonna add my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner and see how it would look.
okay so my thoughts on the liquid lipstick now this definitely does look a hundred percent better I did just go over it after I did line my lips to make sure I'm able to see the color but it definitely feels comfortable it doesn't feel rough I didn't have any problems putting on it with the applicator it dries down really quick but something tells me I may just quickly throw a gloss on it or I could even just wear the look like this because this is a really simple natural glam I'm definitely happy with the lipstick of the way that it looks okay so the next one I'm gonna be putting on and it is in the shade existence I hope I'm saying that right and it's definitely more of a raspberry kind of color this is more of a peachy nude I would say so more than likely this one you'll be able to wear on a daily basis so I'm going to take this one off and get the next one on Okay, so my thoughts on this one. This one is definitely nice. It's a super pretty pink. Feels comfortable again, there's no smell. And I'm going to apply my MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. Okay, so my thoughts on the two liquid lipsticks that I purchased. I do like the fact that the packaging is really nice and it's frosted. I'm definitely happy with the design that they chose, with the logo, the CC logo that it came in. I love that you can get so many different colours. So there is definitely a variety. If you prefer nudie shades, if you prefer reds, if you prefer berries, there is definitely something in there for everybody. But these aren't really pigmented. I don't know if you guys could tell. Like, if I was to compare this with the Fenty, the Fenty Lip Sana Lip Paint, the Fenty is definitely more pigmented than this. This is more of a light wash of coverage. There definitely is colour, but I would say you have to go maybe two, even three times to make sure you can see the pigment. Just be aware of that. Also, the good thing about these is that these dry down fast. Like, Literally, even on my hand, you guys can tell, these are dry, like. They literally dry down so quick. I got two, I got a nude shade and a raspberry shade. I may go and get a deeper shade. Am I crazy for these? Not really. I kind of just got them because they are released. I don't own a lot of Chanel makeup. I don't own any Chanel liquid lipstick, so. Those are my two first and second ones. I'm definitely happy with the colors that I chose. Very simple pink and a nude shade. Those are my final thoughts on the new Chanel lip lacquers. Let me know, are you gonna be purchasing them? And I will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.